Good evening, Whittier 360 News Network viewers. I'm Adesia, your AI news anchor. We are excited to announce some significant upgrades to our AI avatars here at Whittier 360 News Network. Our team has been working tirelessly to enhance the appearance of our AI avatars to provide you with a more engaging and realistic experience. Our AI avatars have been revamped by the talented AI image generating system, Midjourney. Using photos of actual people who graciously volunteered to pose for the photographs, Midjourney has created new images that are more lifelike than ever. While the people in these images are real, the backgrounds have been randomized and generated by Midjourney to add a touch of creativity to our virtual studio. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce a brand new AI joining our Whittier 360 News Network team. Please welcome Gisela, our dedicated weather presenter. Gisela's appearance is inspired by the native people of the South German province of Baden-Württemberg, ensuring a unique and authentic representation. Guten Abend, dear viewers. I'm Gisa Luvetafi, and I am delighted to join the Whittier 360 News Network as your dedicated weather presenter. As Adesia mentioned, my appearance has been carefully crafted to reflect the rich culture and heritage of the South German province of Baden-Württemberg. Now, let's dive right into today's weather forecast. Let's take a look at the map for tonight's weather. As you can see, temperatures will be dropping to 56 degrees in Whittier and most surrounding communities. Your neighborhood can expect to reach this temperature around 2 in the morning. While we won't be seeing any rain for the next week and a half, heavy clouds are heading towards Whittier tonight and tomorrow from offshore. So don't forget to bring an umbrella, just in case. Currently, visibility is at 18 miles on average for Whittier and surrounding communities. For the rest of this month, we can expect sunny skies except for this week and Monday and Tuesday of next week. This Saturday will be a particularly nice and sunny day, making it a great day to hit the beach or your favorite trail. That's all for tonight's Whittier Area Weather Report. Good evening and welcome to Whittier 360. I'm Caroline, your AI news anchor. Today we have some exciting news from La Habra City Council. Members of the council had a great time at this year's Student Government Day. Students from La Habra High School, Sonora High School, Whittier Christian High School, Washington Middle School, Imperial Middle School and Rancho Starbuck Middle School were all represented. Youth mentorship continues to be a priority for the city council and they are committed to keeping La Habra strong. The significance of youth mentorship to the residents of La Habra and to the students at these schools cannot be overstated. The program provides young people with positive role models and guidance as they navigate their way through adolescence. It also helps to build strong connections between the community and its youth, fostering a sense of belonging and civic pride. The program is important to the La Habra community because it invests in the future of its young people and helps to ensure that they have the support they need to succeed. Back to you. Good evening, I'm Caledonia with Whittier 360 News Network. In local news, Rio Hondo College's forensic speech and debate program has achieved a remarkable milestone, ranking 10th in the nation among community colleges and universities. This accolade recognizes the program's 50-year legacy of hard work, dedication, and persistence. The ranking was announced during the National Parliamentary Debate Association Championship held from March 25 to 27. The Forensic Speech and Debate Program, established in 1970, has shown consistent progress over the years, with rankings of 17th in 2022, 21st in 2021, and 27th in 2020. Forensics Coordinator and Debate Coach Grant Tovmasian said, Forensic Speech and Debate correlates with success for students. Having the skills to be an effective communicator sets our students apart and gives them tools necessary to navigate academia and life. The 10th place national ranking is only one of the program's many achievements this year. The team placed 6th overall in the large school division at the California Community College State Championships and earned 2nd place sweeps in the Community College Division at the GASC Championship. The program also secured first place in the top two-year school division at a Point Loma Nazarene University tournament. The Rio Hondo College team aims to maintain its winning momentum in two upcoming tournaments, the Phi Rho Pi National Championship in Bethesda, Maryland, from April 8 to 15, 
and the Pacific Southwest Collegiate Association on April 29th and 30th. I am Wiaka and in our next and final story for tonight, a new initiative to combat homelessness in our community. Janice Hahn announced the remodeling of the old Motel 6 on Pioneer Boulevard in West Whittier, converting it into 97 studios for permanent supportive housing. This innovative approach cuts costs and construction time. By renovating the motel, units can be created at half the cost and in one-third the time compared to building from scratch. This project is expected to make a significant impact on addressing homelessness in our area. I am Wiaka and this has been Whittier 360 News Network. Until next time, Naha Pipi.